Hey guys, if you need to cut those perfect round holes in your drywall or ceiling tiles to install those round recessed lights called can lights or those round recessed speakers that look so nice or maybe even a round electrical box, then you may need one of these, a circle cutter. In this episode of Calibrate Tools, let's see how they work. <laughs> Okay guys, so today we're gonna to talk about two different kinds of circle cutters here. The first one is this one, all right? As you can tell, it's pretty straightforward. It has a center point marker. This is where you would mark the center of your circle right here. It's metal and it has a knob, okay? Now this knob tightens down onto this uh, spanner here. Now this spanner has increments on it, right? And these increments will allow you to measure the diameter of your circle, right? Here on this end is the blade. Okay, a very thin blade right here that you would mark the circumference of your circle. Okay, so the maximum length of this spanner slash metal ruler is supposed to be 16 inches. So for the sake of the video, we're just gonna go with that. So let's just say we want a circle of about 21 inches in diameter. Well, we'll bring this portion down to about 10 and a half inches right which will give us a radius of ten and a half inches when we make the circle right and that's how we would uh, mark our measurement for the radius and ultimately the diameter of the circle so you bring this over and then you tighten the knob down and that's it and it's pretty straightforward this is what you would do let's just say on this uh, piece of drywall I got laying here uh, you want your center to be right here. So you would take your mark, marking a point right here, and press it down in the center, and simply scribe around, all the way around with your blade. Now I know you can't see anything because the blade doesn't leave a mark that deep but if I press it a little more apply a little bit more pressure then you would see a blade mark and as you can tell well I know you can't tell right now I'll show you in a minute okay keep going around all the way as you can tell, you're gonna to have to apply some pressure to make sure that that blade penetrates that drywall so you can see where you're cutting. And you wanna make sure that the knob is tight on the spanner, okay? Make sure that it's tight so that this spanner won't slide in and out, messing up your circle. And you'll have you a spiral instead of a circle. So you wanna kinda of apply the right pressure to make sure that circle is perfectly round. Sometimes it's good to make mistakes because then you learn what not to do. Okay guys, so that's the circle that's scribed by the blade with the circle cutter. Now you can use a keyhole saw like this to cut out the circle and start cutting. Or you can use a hammer to tap the circle out of the drywall. Now this hole cutter makes it a lot easier to cut holes, and I'll show you why. Now the way this works is that it has a drill bit and it has two blades on the opposite sides of the drill bit, right? And they complete the diameter of the circle that you're gonna cut. And it's adjustable. And the way you adjust it is, first you gotta take it apart, right? And the way you do that is you simply 
pull that out. Then you take the drill bit off. Then you can adjust it to any circumference up to about uh, seven inches. So the diameter of a can light cutout hole max should be about six and three eighths inches. So this definitely would cover that. So let's just say we want a six inch um, circle. Well, right here, if you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there it should say six, right? But let's just say you can move it around. You can slide it to say, hmm, let's say you want a five, five inch diameter circle. It'll say five right there. So let's bring it back to six. This tool makes it pretty easy for you to do that. So you simply slide these spanners, right? And here's an opening where you can actually see the numbers. So let's bring it all the way to six. And there you have it, six right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a six. And you have to turn it around and do it on the opposite end as well. So let's just bring that to a six. Okay, now you have a six inch diameter right here. So if you want to make sure, just take your measuring tape and measure it. That's about six, right? So there we go. So once you have your measurement, you want to take your drill bit and stick it back in this hex shaped hole here that's made for the drill bit to fit in. All right, so you stick it in. And what that does, that locks in these spanners at the measurement that you uh, calibrate it, right? So these spanners can't move. But remember, if you remove the drill bit, you can move the spanners, right? I'm not gonna move them again because then I'll have to look at these tiny numbers and I don't wanna do that. But once, when this drill bit is out, you can slide these things back and forth. But once you insert the drill bit in, it locks it in place. Pretty ingenious there. All right, so once you do that, you take your socket, right? And you just stick it back on like that and you lock it in. There you go. And once again, if you want to remove the socket, simply pull on this section here with the red band. Just pull on that and it comes loose. Now the tool also comes with a dust collector. That's this right here. It looks like a plastic bowl, but it collects the dust because as you know, uh, cutting through drywall or ceiling tiles could be pretty messy. So what you would do is you would take this piece right here that comes with the tool as well, and you would insert it into the dust cover. So you would turn the dust cover over, right? And as you can see around the edges of this piece, you have these uh, protruding points here, and you have about four of them. So you have two on this end and two on this end, okay? Two on opposite ends. So what you do is you take those pointed ends and you line them up with, where is that right here? These two openings on this end and these two openings on that end there. All right, so you simply push it down. You line them up, you see? See the, the ends? See those ends? You line them up and you push it in. And you lock it into the cover, the dust cover, and there you go. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take your adjustable cutter here and then you wanna place it into the dust cover or as it's called the debris shield, right? And you wanna place it in this component here through this section here, right? Like that. So you place it all the way in, all right? And you wanna make sure that the uh, shank part comes out of the end of this component, right? So there you have it. So, you want, so when you place it in, you wanna make sure that's sticking out, right? Because this end is what you're gonna insert into your drill chuck, okay? Once you have that configured, simply stick it in your drill chuck and tighten it up. I know you guys can't see it, but inside this component here is a spring that allows this cover to retract back as the drill penetrates the surface so it won't stop the drill from doing that. So let's just say this is the center of our circle and we're gonna cut a six inch hole in this drywall here.
Now look at all that debris, all kept in one place and not in your lungs or eyes. Cleaner than a hammer or a hole saw. Okay guys, what do you think about drywall circle cutters? Are they worth it? I think so. So if you like what you saw today, hit that like and subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can know when I bring you another great video. I'll see you guys in the next one.